All right, guys, the building's arrived. It is nasty, rainy day out here today, but it is, uh, it's here and we're real excited because this is the big step we've been waiting for. It's been delayed by about 10 extra days for some reason of the company, but it's arriving and we look forward to put it down. Hey guys, so it's Thursday evening and I really wanna get a video out made tonight and I wanna get it up tomorrow. So if it's Friday morning and you're watching this, I did good. Um, it's been two weeks since I made a video and actually a lot of stuff has happened, but just been extra, extra busy. Um, in fact, tonight I'm supposed to be ultrasounding the snakes. Um, I have the ultrasound here and all set up. And then I thought, man, I gotta do a video for tomorrow. Um, so I have this idea that we're gonna go through and ultrasound some snakes, and then we're also gonna go over some of the cool stuff that's been happening lately, um, and see if we can go knock out ultrasounding and a video at once, and uh, we'll see if it works. All right, so we got our, our we got our teeth stuck into it a little bit. You guys are kind of far away, aren't you? Let's see if this works. How's this? I can't see. No, nah, I'm guessing that's okay. Okay, so so far it's been pretty good. Not a lot of surprises. We did have one that was for sure an absorption, but we also found one that uh, was surprised that she had great follicles and uh, really hadn't been on my radar. So. Awesome to see. Um, okay, so getting into a little bit of the content for this week. The whole point of this video this week that I really wanted to do was do the Coral Glow Pompeii clutch. I teased that clutch with you guys. In fact, my kids were there when, uh, when we cut the eggs and that was so much fun. Oh. What? What? So what? Red. Oh my goodness. That, how red is that can be? That's insane. So I have some footage of that. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit, but before we even get to that, there's no way I can get through this video without addressing the Pompeii, visual Pompeii that we made um, on Instagram, put it out today. Um, just blowing away, it's amazing. Um, 15 months after the first one, so it took a long time to make it. The odds are tough, you know, the reality is the four code arms, the black pastel spot nose, yellow belly, what am I forgetting? Red stripe clown. Um, and just those four codoms make it really, really tough because if you do a Pompeii to a clown, you're at one in 16 odds already. If you do it to a head clown of any type, if you're trying to put another gene in there, you're at one in 32 to make a Pompeii worse if you're trying to make something different. Um, so yeah, it's a challenge, but when I, when I saw this baby in the egg the other day, just blown away because it brings back so much memories of when the first one hatched and how crazy that was and what a big surprise that was. And uh, really amazing to see another one. And I actually like this one a little better, I think. The pattern on this, I think, is actually a little neater, um, a little cleaner as far as the back dorsal, less, uh, less patterning on there. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, love that, love that. Um, 
We'll do a little bit more ultrasounding here and then let's look at that Coral Glow Pompeii clutch and see what those ended up being. All right, so as I said earlier, um, the Coral Glow Pompeii clutch was the one that I really want to show. In the end, I didn't get it, um, but the best part of it was how cool the babies looked in the egg, insane, and also my kids' reaction to when they cut them. So I thought it'd be fun, um, since Greer was the most vocal on video, to look at the babies, he had not seen them after shed, look at the babies with him, and talk about what we actually got. Let's check out that. All right, Greer, so, you're here because you had such an awesome reaction to the video last week with the Coral Glow Pompeii Clutch. Yes. And I brought you in from playing basketball while you're all sweaty. But I want to show you the snakes now that they've shed. And YouTube hasn't seen them yet either. And so I thought it'd be fun if we could get your reaction again now that you see them after they shed, all pretty. And see what you think of them now. What do you think? Let's do it. Sounds good? Yes. All right, Greer, so here's the first one. What do you think? What's your first impression? This is the hat, okay? So remember, do you remember what hat means? Uh, it's like 50% uh, clown. Okay, so so hats are a lot of times they're either 50% or 66% hat. But heterozygous means, hat is short for heterozygous. It means that one of the parents was visual for that mutation. So this one is a carrier, but doesn't show. So this is a carrier for clown carrying the gene but it doesn't show clown. So this is a hat. This is a red stripe, black pastel, yellow belly, hat. It kind of looks like a highway. Yeah, it looks really, really awesome. It kind of has that, and that purple in it yeah. and everything. So yeah, just the black pastel really brings out the color in any kind of coral glow and yellow belly does as well. But then Red Stripe does really well with Coral Glow. It's been uh, shown to be really interesting. Check that out. That snake. All right, so here's the next one. Now this one, boy, I don't know. It's in shed, so that's why it's a little dark. It's a lot more. I think it's already in a second shed. It looks a little fuzzy on top, but this is Black Pastel. I believe it's Black Pastel Yellow Belly Coral Glow Clown. I think that's it, but the color, it's really, really, really incredible. And it's got these like little half circles all it's over. It's kind of like the Pompeii design with like purple on top. A little bit, yeah. The Pompeii sharpens it a little bit. We'll see another one that's a little bit closer to that. But this one, you're, 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 you're on the right track. And just the, just that color in there is really cool. Purple. Now, no sign of any black spots yet. Of course, that, those might not show up till later anyway. Here's the next one. Now, this one, I think... Boy, this is a really tough one. I think this one was missing red stripe. Otherwise, it would have been the Coral Glow Pompeii, but really it would have been pretty much unreasonable to expect to hit on that. Really. It'd probably be unreasonable to hit a Coral Glow Pompeii really on this first clutch, because like one in 32 chance, something like that. And uh, But I think this is Black Pastel Yellow Belly Coral Glow spot nose clown okay. okay so spot nose takes that last one we saw and really sharpens the pattern okay and kind of spreads it out and makes it really really neat and kind of like brings it along the snake <coughs> is, is that cause the black dots so yeah there's a couple black dots already showing on there and that's from the coral glow now coral glows are bananas they're called no well, they're called bananas initially just because they get the black dots as they get older. It's kind of like bananas get black spots, right? Oh, as they cool ripen. Sounds better though. Yeah, it's a cooler sounding name, yeah. But they're the same mutation. Um, and it's really, really neat to see the different types of purple. You get the purple in the back and then you have the purple that's going around the alien heads. Then the alien heads. See themselves. bright orange like on that some like some on like right here. See a little bit orange mm -hmm. there. Then, right. Then, look at the tail though. You're gonna get in the tag there if you're not yeah, careful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it kinda looks like hieroglyphics or something. Kind of. Like writing on the sides? It isn't though. That'd be crazy. You don't think it is? Like, look at it. This is Spotnose Yellow Belly 
Red Stripe Coral Glow Clown. This is my absolute favorite one from the clutch. And the funny thing is, is while they're in the egg, this is the one that I probably paid the least attention to um, because it just improves so much after shed. Whoa. Um, this snake without Coral Glow is incredible. In fact, we made one this past year and sent it over to um, Miguel at Always Evolving Pythons. It's an incredible, incredible snake. And with Coral Glow, all that that amazing kind of depth and, and you know stretching of the pattern and shredding of the pattern all came through and it shows it really really cool with all this purple and everything the head the head's really cool too it's got that nice spot nose face on it but look at that that yellow belly it's super like, it's obvious like, the design on it it's mm -hmm. crazy yeah really cool Maybe. it has this, almost like this iridescent shine to it so this is my favorite. This one ended up being a girl. That's the cool thing about using a coral glow or a banana female is you'll get boys and girls and then the boys you do get will be female makers. All right guys, thanks for watching. Had a great time and I wish we could bring you videos more often. I uh, really appreciate your patience with uh, the last couple weeks and I wish I could do this every day because there's just so much going on. But because there's so much going on, we can't do it every, all the time. Um, a quick update on Chase. He's doing really, really well with his um, surgery. He's healing up really well. He had his post-op appointments. Um, we got to see a surgeon again. Of course, he's sharing all about his love for ball pythons and what we do with his medical team. And that's really, really cool. The guy is super passionate and I'm just honored to be, have him here most of the time working with him. Um, so he's done with his surgery portion. He's meeting with his oncologist and looking at how he can really um, attack this in the next couple of months with the chemo and get this completely knocked out. Um, and so we hope we get some more information on that soon for you guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.